Man, man I got a four-year-old at home that misses me every time I go away like this. I don't know. It ends up being a split decision. The one judge thought that Felder won. It was that close. I did not know myself as a viewer. It was that close. Two to one on the judges, goes to Hooker, and they move on. But this is where the point of my video actually begins. Okay, this is where the commentary really begins because Felder on the microphone, halfway retired. He definitely insinuated at retirement by using the words, and I quote, this might have been my last one. And when you're in Felder's spot, it's very hard to disagree with him. He has had a great career. He's got a lot of opportunities post-career that are very rare. But more than anything, Felder is one of these guys who wants to be the champion of the world. And when that path starts to become unclear, how am I going to get there? Sometimes they want to get out. I would never support Hooker, or Felder rather, in retiring if he thinks he's not good enough to still do it. I mean, for goodness sakes, one judge thought he won. I mean, they're that close of fights. But 155 is just that way. Felder has a different mindset, which is I want to be champion. And whether one judge thought I won or not, bottom line is I didn't. I don't move forward. Most likely he stays still. I believe these guys were separated by one in the rankings. I don't think he slides down the rankings. He's in a great spot. Top 10 guy. No question about that. But when you look at the 155-pound division, they are jammed up right now. Who's damn good whose skills have not diminished, not even a little bit. Felder, in many ways, is only looking better. Main events and five-round fights, in many ways, with his style, are only better for him. I got no problem with him physically. He is not diminishing. But mentally, if he's looking and going, man, I'm not just here to compete. I'm here to be champion. And he is one of those guys. And he's also able to be logical and look at the landscape and go, this is a year away. Oh, and by the way, in that year, I'm going to be requested to do three fights. And by the way, if I want to even be in the conversation a year from now for a championship, which do, even with three wins doesn't guarantee that I get it. If I even want to be in the conversation, I'm going to have to win all three of those. I mean, it's a very daunting task. RDA, you're champion of the world. That doesn't go away, my friend. You have the right to do any damn thing you want. You have earned that right. RDA signed with the company in 2008. He started out at 155 pounds fighting absolutely anybody, and believe me, he fought everybody. He fought Khabib before Khabib was Khabib. He fought Eddie Alvarez when nobody wanted to fight Eddie Alvarez went and won himself a world championship. He signed to fight Conor McGregor. He went out and did anything that was asked of him, and then he moves up to 170 and tries to go after another championship. By the way, fighting anybody they asked him to fight, including Usman, including Covington. Well, yeah, RDA, you prick. You're not going to win all those fights. Look at the guy. Nobody's had a harder career. Nobody has had a harder career roster dealt to them in the history of MMA than RDA. If you dispute that, go look at his record, guys. It just means you're not remembering. So then he comes over and he says, I can't call anyone out. You can't call anyone out. You're the world champion, RDA. Just because some of the fans have short-term memories or the I sponsors, the, whoever's told you, my friend, you're the champion of the world. 
You fought in two different weight classes. You won the championship at 55 and you fought for the championship at 70. That is as close to a champ champ as there has ever been. Are you forgetting that you fought Covington for the strap? Are you forgetting that you beat Eddie and won the strap? Are you forgetting all the things you've done? You want to call somebody out? You go right ahead. And guess what's going to happen, RDA? We're going to band behind you for the first time. You have done a lot for everybody else. You want one to come back your way? You got it, friend. Call your shot and we will get behind it.